So this question looks like it's going to be some sort of translation where I need to make sure I understand the wording of the question and figure out which of the answer choices um, is a representation of that in function form. So the question says, for the function q, the value of q of x decreases by 45% for every increase in the value of x by 1. Okay, so that sounds like a slope to me. So every time, so first of all, slope represents rise over run. Another way to think of that is change, which is represented by delta or this triangle, change in y divided by the change in x. And that's why reading this first sentence reminds me of slope because it's saying that the q of x, which is always a y value, right? Our function is always a y, like all these guys to be crossed out and replaced with y if we want it to. So the question is saying that that y value decreases by 45%. So 45% decrease is like saying my change in y is down 45%. 45% um, as a decimal is 0 0.45. And another way to think of decreasing by 45% is to say that, well, I will be at 55% of where I started, right? So if I were at 100 and I would decrease by 45%, I'm now at the number 55, so 55%, which as a decimal is 0 0.55. So my change in y, my change in y is actually 0.45. So I'll leave that there for right now. And then my change of x is just 1, basically, right? It says the value of x changes by 1. The question says, if q of 0 is 14, which equation defines q? Okay, so more important information. So I'm going to use that last bit of information first to see if there's any way to cross anything out. So Q of zero, that means when I replace X with zero, and I also replace X with zero here, does answer choice A give me a 14? Because that's what it says I should have. Well, 14 to the zero power is just one, and then I'd have 0.55 times one, which is not 14. So A is gone. Looks like I could tell what's happening. Choice B would be the same thing, right? The 14 to the 0 becomes 1, so that's not going to give it to me. But for choice C, if this were 0, then this whole thing becomes 1, and then I would have 14 times 1. And looks like the exact same thing for choice D. So I'm going to clean this up again and just say, well, what I know for sure is that A and B are gone, but I can choose between C and D. So all that's left is what goes inside the parentheses. Should this be 0.55 or should this be 1.45? So given my understanding of decimals, 1.45 is a 145% increase. Nothing about what I read in the question tells me that I should have a 45% increase. In fact, I shouldn't have said it's 145% of the original, which represents a 45% increase. That's not what we want. We want a 45% decrease. So again, 0 0.55 would represent a 45% decrease. Right? Because again, if you decrease by 45%, you're left with 55%. So I'm liking choice C as the best answer to this question.